Community Viewpoint with Maria Hurst. Welcome to Community Viewpoint. I'm your host for this segment, Maria Hurst. Tonight, I want to talk about an upcoming holiday, which is super fun, and there's a lot of cool things going on around our town, and a lot of cool um, happenings at our restaurants, and I want to talk about Valentine's Day. So if you are getting ready to go out for a special dinner, I'm going to tell you all about what restaurants um, are offering and that when they're open, if you need reservations or not. And, um, and then we'll go into uh, some cool stuff you can do for Valentine's Day. But before I do that, I want to talk about the history of Valentine's Day just for a sec. So I'm going to show you a picture and I'm going to... There we go. That is such a cute picture. I found that online on the history of Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day, the holiday... The roots are in the ancient, Rome, or the ancient Roman festival of Lupercalia. I hope I am saying that right. Lupercalia. It was a fertility celebration commemorated annually on the 15th of February. Well, Pope Gelasius, did I say that right, Noah? The first, Pope Gelasius, he recast the festival, as a, uh, the pagan festival, as a Christian feast uh, circa 496. That's a long time ago declaring February 14th to be St. Valentine's Day. So that's a little bit about the history. Today, Valentine's Day is a tradition. It's a time to show the ones we love, friends and family around us that we care. It's become more of a, a traditional holiday. And you can, you can find all the stores are filled with holiday stuff. We can take the picture down now, probably. <laughs> But isn't that a cool picture? That'd be like, you could probably find that if you just Google like History of Valentine's Day. That's a really cool thing that you can use on some of the crafts I'm gonna show you a little bit later. But I just thought that was a really sweet picture. So today, um, Valentine's Day is a tradition. Every year you see the stores full of a fun Valentine's Day stuff and hearts and, and love and friendship. And it's just a nice time to give somebody a message saying, hey, happy Valentine's Day, and know you're thinking about them. So let's get to what we're hap what's going on in Pahrump, what's happening. So I have lots of notes. Um, so Stockman Steakhouse is having a special Valentine's Day dinner. They're going to be from 5 to 10. You do need to make reservations. Their phone number is 751 Six five zero zero. You'll call the Nugget and ask for Stockman Steakhouse and make reservations. They have a special uh, Valentine's Day dinner, like a dinner for two for one special price, and there is a couple other options. And I think they have their regular menu as well. But that's a really nice place to go for Valentine's Day. The Prompt Valley Winery is also having a special Valentine's Day event. I think they're full or getting full. So if you want reservations there, you'll have to call right away. Um, and either if you can get a reservation or get on the waiting list, their phone number is 751-7800, and they have yummy food, so that will be fun. There's also Chat Thai Bistro, which is over on Frontage Road, right kind of across the street from like where Carl's Jr. is. It's kind of uh, scooted in uh, next to Domino's Pizza. That is a delicious restaurant. I love eating there. The food is so fresh. Their phone number is 537-7227, and they do get busy, so they recommend that you make a reservation. Another nice place to go is Oja. Oja is, oh, you can always depend on really good food over at Oja. They're great, and they recommend a reservation. Um, it's not required, but it's recommended 727-9888. And another couple of restaurants that reservation is not required, um, but it's a really nice place to go if you're looking to go out and have um, some Asian food. You have China Walk, and their number is 727-9988, and they have really yummy, delicious food. You can either do the buffet or you can order off the menu, and they have uh, like a sushi line and all different stuff, and they have desserts there, and really, really yummy food. I love the pork fried rice. It's really good. Uh, Coconut Bay is also going to be open. Their phone number is 727-8889, and the pineapple rice is what I like there. Um, also, Johnny's, 
It's a cafe, it's right on 372, but if you're looking just to go out and get some really good food, Johnny's Diner is really good. You can get American food, you can get Mexican food. The chips and salsa are super good. 727-3737. The last place I wanna to talk to you about um, is Mountain Falls. They're doing a special event there where they're gonna have music and dancing and a special menu, which includes um, some steaks, a lobster dish, osobuco sea bass, and they have chocolate mousse and chocolate chip strawberries. The reservation there is required, and they're gonna be doing that from four to eight, and there is still room. Um, there are taking reservations, and there's still uh, time to get a reservation there. Their phone number is 537-6553. So, that, um, and there's also a, a bunch of other restaurants. If I didn't mention your restaurant, it doesn't mean you're not open. It just, th there's a bunch of other restaurants in town. These are just ones that are doing, uh, you know, having, having something special or, or a place that's, uh, that, I, that I've been. So I know there is a lot of other restaurants in town. Um, the, the main like fine dining restaurants we did mention here, Stockman Steakhouse, The Nugget, The Winery, and uh, Mountain Falls and Chat Thai Bistro and Odra, trying to walk the, the, the fine dining restaurants are, are all listed. And also all the casinos, their cafes will all be open as well. If you're going out for a night of uh, maybe some fun gaming and restaurants. So now I want to show you something before I show you the arts and crafts, you might um, be uh, in hot water maybe, and you're trying to um, impress your other half, you really wanna go out for a night on the town, you want a chance to win a fun, fun night, well, maybe you're living on a prayer. We are having a Bon Jovi ticket giveaway on 95.9 .9 Ace Country Radio. The concert is February 25th at 7.30. The Bon Jovi tour is This House Is Not For Sale tour. And if you listen to Ace Country Radio, when you hear two Bon Jovi songs back to back, you wanna call right away, 775-727-8750 for a chance to win one of the daily prizes or get an entry to win a pair of tickets to the Bon Jovi concert on February 25th at T-Mobile Arena and um, presented by Live Nation. So that's gonna be super fun, super fun. So don't be a runaway call the number when you hear the Bon Jovi. I'm trying to put a bunch of Bon Jovi songs in there, so I'm not just randomly pulling out, <laughs> pulling out words. So um, if you hear, you might wanna just like brush up on your Bon Jovi, maybe go on you know, one of the music sites, listen to some Bon Jovi, so when you hear it on Ace Country Radio, you know to call. Also, just daily, Ace Country Radio has lots of really good country songs. You can tune in right in your car or during work, just anytime. And then you can hear all about all the fun um, and exciting things happening in Pahrump because I believe the news is on the radio. And you can also hear all about the, um, the businesses in town because you'll hear their advertisements. advertisements. Um, so now I think, are we good on time? I'm looking to Noah in the booth. Five minutes, okay. Just enough time to tell you all about these awesome ideas that I found today on Pinterest. Love Pinterest. Um, so let's go with the first one. Look at that, cool. It's like, I know there's a bunch of broken down bikes here in Pahrump. So take it apart, take the wheel off the bike, paint all of it with the spokes, and look at how cool that is. You can do that for Valentine's, you can hang that as a decoration, and then you could do, use that as your like, you know, like your reminder notes. You could do it, use it for Easter, you could use it for Christmas. I just thought that was the coolest, like do-it-yourself idea with just a simple bike wheel, some paint, and maybe some sandpaper. You might have to sand the bike wheel a bit if it's rusty. Um, some paint and some clothespins and crafts. I just thought that was the coolest thing. The next one, is also using clothespins. I did include the picture with the person who posted it on this one. Um, the other one has been posted by several. So this one, I thought that was so cute. You have a little envelope 
and it says you have a message. It's just a little clothespin. You open it up and there's a little message. I love you or do the dishes or sweep the floor. No, I'm just kidding. So any, any little message you want to put in there, I just thought that was the cutest idea right there. The next one, this is one of my favorites that I found. You could do this on any holiday. You could do this at Christmas. You could make it a photo book. That is a deck of cards. And it's just a deck of cards with holes punched and the little rings put around, you know, put in the deck to make a little book out of the deck of cards. And you can get those rings, you can get the cards and the rings at a dollar store or any, you know, any other store. You can buy those binding rings. And I just thought that was the cutest idea. And you can put any like photos or messages in each one of those pages. And it's a do it yourself. And it's a really inexpensive way to make a really neat, uh, memory. I thought that was cool. This one is also one. They're all my favorites. So I just keep saying one of my favorites, but I picked all of these because they were my favorites. So do you have any candy canes left over from Christmas? I know I do. I have two boxes because I bought them right after Christmas on sale. And when I saw this, I was like, I have a use for my candy canes. I was just going to eat them, but I'm going to eat them now after I make these. So two candy canes, I think if you just search Pinterest, you just put like candy cane, um, Valentine's candy cane um, suckers, and you, I, you, they just melt right on the stick, and then you just melt white chocolate right in the middle. And you probably could use dark chocolate too if you're real careful not to let the chocolate bleed onto the candy cane, and then just put the sprinkles. But th I thought those were so, so cute. And these I included because they were just super cute, a really simple, easy way to make a Valentine with the kids. And it's really easy. They could get their, um, you know, their safety scissors, just cut a simple heart, get some little heart. You can get those little foam stickers and just a marker and just a really simple, cute way to make a Valentine. And we have one minute left. So happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I hope you have fun with your families and your friends and making some cool crafts. Go on Pinterest, maybe you'll find some other, other craft ideas. I know there's, there's other sites, I think like, there's probably Instagram, Pinterest, all, all kinds of sites that you could find cool ideas. I picked out some that were my favorites and hopefully you'll find some that are your favorites. And I will see you next week. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to Noah in the booth. <laughs> and watch the news, Noah is also our weatherman. Have a great night and happy Valentine's Day. Community Viewpoint with Maria Hurst.